Hi there, my name is James Hardiman. I want to welcome you to this video series called Hey James, how do I... dot dot dot. I've worked in IT for most of my adult life. I started working with computers when I was 19 and uh, I guess I'm still working with computers and I'm 63. During that time I've worked with uh, Legal and General Insurance Society. I worked for British Airways for five years including two years on succumbent to Singapore Airlines, worked for IBM for 20 years and I ran my own IT company for 10 years so I guess I know quite a bit about computers. More importantly for you is I was a really lousy student at school. Everyone was convinced I was stupid. It wasn't until I was about 30 I discovered I wasn't stupid I, just that I didn't seem to match the way that they taught. And when I understood that, my life took off. I, I like to say that I recovered my intelligence. Well, I find there are a lot of people out there perfectly intelligent, but just somehow they don't seem to match the way they're being taught, especially with computers. And that's how come when I was doing my PhD, my subject was overcoming learning blocks in intelligent adults. And one of my key pieces of research was my course called Computing for the Terrified, and for the merely perplexed. Well, <clears throat> when I stopped running my own IT company, I thought that was it for IT. People are always asking me, hey James, how do you, and I go, oh, I, don't, I don't do computers anymore. And I suddenly realized that I have this huge amount of knowledge, both about IT, but also about how to overcome learning blocks in intelligent adults, and I really should be offering it to the world. Hence this series called, hey James, how do I dot dot dot. What you're going to get in this series is a number of videos, some of talking heads like this, some will be me talking to somebody else, but most of them will be of computer screens, me demonstrating how to do things. Uh, and I'm going to use a couple of tools to do that, one that you don't really need to know about except that I'll probably refer to it called Camtasia. Camtasia is a thing that I use to record my computer screen so I can put up videos saying this is what to do. The one you do need to know about is called Mikogo, M-I-K-O-G-O, -O, and the reason you need to know that is you need to have Mikogo on your computer because when you have it on yours and I have it on mine, I can see your screen if you let me, you can see my screen if I let you, we can interact. So even though you might be the other side of the world from where I am, we can still have a one-to-one -one session. And it may be that while we're having the one-to-one -one session, I record it with Camtasia so it's available to other people. So that's how, hey James, how do I, mm -mm -mm, is going to work. Uh, welcome to the series. If you have any questions at all, please let me know. Uh, I'll make it as easy as possible for you to be able to operate this so that you know how to interact, leave me questions. And even if I've made a video on how to do something, if you don't understand it, please, please, please let me know. Okay, one of the key things about this thing about the way I learn doesn't seem to be matched to the way they teach is that the person who's not getting it has got to communicate with the person who's not communicating it so that the person who's not communicating it can change the way. Do you get the idea? So I hope you find it useful. Uh, if you do, then sooner or later I'm going to start charging for it. But at the moment we're experimenting, so it's free, apart from the fact that on the web page there will be a tips jar where you can buy me some cash if it was useful. So, I'll see you in a minute when I teach you how to install Mikogo on your computer and connect Mikogo on your computer with Mikogo on my computer, because then we can communicate. Bye for now.